Before I get started, a reminder. To help everyone get accustomed to some of the upcoming features, I'll be using the development version of FreeCAD in my videos until it goes stable in August. See my video introducing a few changes to help you follow along. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about fillets. Broadly, fillets come in two varieties. Inside fillets, sometimes also known as negative fillets, and outside fillets. Either way, they're based on a circle of a given radius. The outside fillet simply rounds off the sharp corners as shown here in the simple decorative plaque. The axis of the imaginary cylinder for the fillet is inside the material and any part of the corner which is not within the cylinder is removed. In woodworking, you'll sometimes hear a very small fillet referred to as easing a corner. Commonly, this is referred to as rounding an edge. Then there's the inside fillet as seen in this alternate version of the decorative plaque. It's pretty much the opposite of an outside fillet. The central axis of the imaginary cylinder is placed directly on the edge and any material inside the given radius of the cylinder is removed. In the part workbench there's a single tool for this. Whether it applies an inside or an outside fillet is based on if the selected edge is inside a corner or on the outside. Sometimes you may want the opposite and unfortunately there's no way to specify it. Some CAD programs allow you to specify a negative radius to get that effect, but that is not yet implemented in FreeCAD. So we need a bit of a workaround to get it to select the one we want. I'll use the simple example of the decorative plaque to make things clearer. I'll start out in the part workbench and create a new sketch on the XY plane. I'll create a rectangle centered on the origin. Just to make it a little more decorative, I want to put cutouts on each of the corners, so I'll create a circle on each corner. Select all of the circles and the equals constraint to make them all the same radius. Now I can set the radius of one of the circles. Of course we can't extrude it like this. FreeCAD has no idea what parts we want extruded and what parts we don't. So I'll select the trim tool and I'm just going to trim away the lines that are not part of our final shape. Of course, if this were more than just an example, I would need to repair a few constraints lost with the trimming. This is fine for the purpose at hand. Close the sketch and extrude it to the default 10 millimeters. I want a 4 millimeter inside fillet all the way around the top edge of the plaque, but the fillet tool will only give me an outside fillet. I need to create an inner edge to make it do an inside fillet. So in the data pane, reduce the height of the extrusion by 4 millimeters to make it 6 millimeters. I'll select the top face of the plaque and create a sub-object shape binder. In the data pane for the binder, set the offset to negative 4 millimeters. Select the binder and extrude it 4 millimeters. Now select the two extrudes and fuse them together. This is necessary since the fillet tool will only consider this an internal edge if the shape is a single object. Now click on the fillet tool with the fusion selected. Select each of the inside edges between the original extrusion and the extruded binder. Often this is easier in wireframe mode so I'll select that now. Wireframe is very useful for selecting edges, but be careful as it is easy to get lost and select the wrong edges. As I have noted previously, filleting right to the edge of a shape can break the geometry, so set the fillet radius to 3.99 millimeters. That hundredth of a millimeter makes a big difference to the solver, but no appreciable difference in the real world. It's less than a thou. 
in the unlikely case that it actually matters for your design, 3.999 millimeters also seems enough to make the solver happy. In an upcoming video, I'll show you a couple alternative ways to make the fillet and a complete failure. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video or found it useful, please like, subscribe, and share. If there's anything you'd like to see covered here, please let me know in the comments below.